I was anyway. on, I stayed at this um, <laughs> hotel place in Madagascar, and there, it was like kind of hotel slash farm, there were all these chickens running around, and this guy told us that roosters crow at night to like, um, they'll like steal each other's women, basically. guys welcome to another episode of the ripple lounge sylvia stop laughing hello <laughs> and our guest is sarah hi sarah. Da -da -da. Yeah. Um, hey guys <laughs> uh, i have sarah on the show because i know nothing about sarah other <laughs> other than the fact i mean you've been on the team for I've like i've known so, you for three years yeah i, I don't know much about you <laughs> other than that you can speak s a lot of different languages can you say hi in like every language you know Hi, bonjour, hola, hey, ahlen. That's five, all right. Yeah. Is that it? <laughs> we'll do you know in. more? I mean, those are the languages I can speak. But do you know how to say hi in other languages? Um, ni hao? <laughs> Yay! Six. We bumped it up That's to six. Good. That's we bumped good. it up to six now. All right. So... Yeah, Sarah, I, I, like I said, you've been on the team for three years. I don't know much about you. So tell us about your life story. Yeah, like <laughs> since, since you were born. From when you came out of your mom's womb. <laughs> well, I don't have very good memories of that. <laughs> or like your earliest recollection of life or something. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I'm totally kidding. I'm kidding. Tell us how... How it's been this season, I guess. This season? Yeah. yeah. And uh, tell us, you know what's coming up next. You know what's next. <laughs> you know what's coming. You know what's coming. I, what's I, coming, Sarah? I don't understand what you guys are next referencing. Week. Next, next week? Next week. Ben, oh. come on. Oh. What's, okay. You know? The race? Yeah. When is this going to be online? <laughs> Probably Hopefully the, tonight. Either tonight or tomorrow. <laughs> oh, he's okay. really good so at it. So next week. <laughs> <laughs> so next week. Um, yeah, no, this season's been good. I've It's been really hard for me, but in a good way, because I've been going to the club group practices, um, oh, wow. which I didn't think that I was going to do initially, because... Who dragged you into it? Um, <laughs> you dragged if there you was into someone, it. it would have to be Eddie, but Eddie. I... Stop falling to Eddie's peer pressure. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I wanted to do it. I just was didn't think that I was capable of doing oh, it. Oh, okay. So I was just like, oh, I can't do that. And then, do you do? I don't know. I just, you just like, I wait, just went wait, and like... I figured, well, it was, it'd be a good way to practice and get better by going to extra practices. Yeah, like yeah. you're hella strong now. <laughs> hella no, stronger than me. Sarah, tell them about, um, tell us about your um, personal trainer. And, like... Oh, well, I've, oh only what? Been, I've only been doing that for like a month. Yeah, but it's pretty hard. Off, off the boat though, right? training? Yeah. In a gym. And you're yeah. really good at going to those 7 a.m. club crew practices, right? <laughs> oh, my God. I, I, Doing I can't burpees wait. if I, you're late. Yeah. I, can't, I can't wake up that early I anymore. I'm so not a morning person. I'm still, like, <laughs> drinking my coffee because I still don't feel awake yet. And what time is it? It's, it's 1.30, 4.40. Yeah. Um, Christina can tell you because she came to Portland with me. I am not a morning person at all. <laughs> she wanted to get coffee before a race one day, and I was like, no, no. Sleep. I'm already getting up at 5 a.m. I do not want to get coffee before Does that. coffee work on you, though? Yeah. It does? Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty sensitive to caffeine. Yeah, okay. I'm at the point where it doesn't, but I still get coffee anyway. Mm. So For the placebo effect? Just maybe. Me too. <laughs> I, I just like me it too. just tastes good. I know. I don't even know why I'm drinking this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also, I also have coffee, FYI. I, I don't, so. Ben is coffeeless. I mean, I'm kind of left out, but I'll grab coffee later. Okay. And yeah. while you eat your donut. While well, I eat my donut. Yeah, Sylvia got me donuts. Twisted donuts. Twisted fang? Twisted Something twisted something. Donuts. No, twisted donuts. Yeah, donut. okay. Is it twisted? Yeah, just twisted donuts. All right, I guess. She got me donuts for, like, my really belated birthday. Should we tell everyone when you're birthday? No, I think you it's shouldn't. A no, it's not. It's a mystery. No one <laughs> bleep, knows. Bleep. Yeah, if you say it, I'm going to have to bleep it out. <laughs> it is. Today, uh, today's <laughs> date is practically equidistant between Ben's and my birthdays. Oh, is he? <laughs> um, I remember, um, I think it's Narina. She keeps saying Yeah, that. she keeps She's asking. asking. But she oh. will, that's why we'll never let her know. Oh, okay. That's but I know now. It's like an ongoing I, uh, yeah. mystery. I could tell her. No, you shouldn't, though. What are you going <laughs> to... <laughs> What are you gonna do for me if I don't tell her? It's like blackmail or something. 
<laughs> Wait, Are you ever fun. gonna tell her? It's, it's more fun for her to figure it out. We gave her enough clues to figure it out, but she hasn't yet. Okay. So but yeah. it's some can I say it's sometime in June? Yeah. <laughs> I mean you just did. We okay. told we, we told her <laughs> well, it's June thirty first. it out too. We told her it's June thirty first. Oh uh, okay. <laughs> Isn't that so mean? June thirty first. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> non existent. <Anyway. laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Back, oh, back. But to go back to your question, so next week is the club crew world qualifier. How do you feel race. about it? Aren't you, aren't you ex- so excited? I'm really you guys excited. Been so yeah, hard. we've been working. I think we've been doing those 7 a.m. practices since January. Ooh, that's crazy. That's basically when the season started. Yeah. Since forever. Yeah. So, yeah, I've like, I don't. I, I like work days now because I get to sleep in. <laughs> <laughs> I get to sleep in that on work so days. Perfect. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like yeah. what what time do you normally wake up on your work days then? Um, I try to get out of bed by like seven. Okay. But for Sometimes this you have to like actually get out of like for Saturdays, you have to Sundays you have to get out at like six. Yeah. I have to wow. be, yeah, we have to be there at seven. All so right. we have seven to nine club crew practice, nine to ten. Wow, double practice! I can't, I can't do that. Nine to ten land training, and then ten to twelve practice. And yeah, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm usually pretty cranky Holy by the God. second yeah. practice, as I think Sylvia can yeah. test to, because so so she'll show up and be like, "Hey," and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> "So you look forward to work more than practice?" <laughs> no, that's not true. Because I, I get to go home and nap after practice. I oh. get to go home and nap after that's work. So true. You were just telling me today that you take like three hour naps on Sunday. I'm practice. so exhausted. Okay, okay. I think no, a no. couple times I've no. texted her. She's like, I just woke up and it's like five o'clock. I'm like, no. oh, hey. Like, you can't call it a nap. I think there's a limit to how many hours before it's not a nap anymore. Personally, okay, I think. should be like no more than an hour. Well, no I more have, than two hours. I have prep for... time for my naps. Oh, okay. Tell I us like... more. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean prep time? I don't know. I have to like kind of like lie on my bed for a little bit, maybe check Facebook on my phone. <laughs> and then I get up and take out my contacts and change into my pajamas. So and then like... I read for a while. I usually read for like half an hour to 45 minutes. Have you ever minutes. fell asleep reading a book? Not like asleep, asleep. Like my eyes kind of shut and then I open up oh. again and then that happens and it like, takes me 10 minutes to read a paragraph. Cool. And you're like, okay, time to, <laughs> time to shut it yeah. down. That shut happens down. to me a lot now because I read before I go to bed uh-huh. every night. Do you and like... Once the season's going, I'm so exhausted that I, mm-hmm. yeah, I can't really... Like, do you like stop, ever stop in the middle of a chapter? I, know, I always want to finish a chapter before I fall asleep reading. Do you have to? I feel I feel more comfortable like that. It's like I don't I'm want like, to stop oh, in the middle of the chapter. I feel very anxious. I gotta finish this yeah. chapter. I used to be that way, but not anymore because oh. I'm just so tired now that I can't. You don't care. Very long. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'd rather do it, but if I'm, I'll usually kind of look, and if I have enough, if it's gonna be a really long time until the next chapter is done, I'm like, <laughs> all right, fine, I'll just go to bed now. So your nap time, your nap prep time, <laughs> seems basically like a weekday. Before bed, yeah, so I, know, I do the exact same thing as when I go to bed. Yeah, so basically, so you yeah. do everything as if it's like ten o'clock at night, but it's actually like yeah. two o'clock. Yeah. after lunch, and then I do with it again team. in a few hours. <laughs> so you have like two go arounds on yeah. Sunday. That's why I'm a so sloth. Funny. Oh yeah! Oh, sloth. you know they have the sloth festival, right? Is in that a August? thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like a new on thing Treasure on Treasure Island. Island. What? They rescheduled it too. Oh, so now it's in early August, oh, okay. I think. Oh, so it's soon. well, it's, well, it's yeah, soon because so it's, it's almost early August. Yeah, I got yeah. the event reminder. So oh, sorry, are you going? I don't know. I was. Well, why? We should look at her. She's more of a sloth. Oh, person she's more. Right. Sarah, are you going? I kind. Of, I don't know. I'll go with Sylvia. Goes. I'll go with you. Go. <laughs> You get like wear like a sloth costume. We have our sloth shirts, matching sloth shirts, oh and God, I have those sloth yeah. socks that you got me. Oh yeah, that's okay. true. Oh, I wore the sloth socks like the other day. Sloth socks is hard to say. Sloth socks. Sloth socks. Sloth. <laughs> well, I'm saying it correct, sloth. right? Sloth socks. Sloth socks. Sloth socks. Sloth socks. Sloth socks. Sloth socks. Okay. Yeah, but no, how really did the sloth thing come about? I can't remember. It came about, Sylvia and I were like on the dock waiting for a pickup. I think it must have been like a Wednesday practice. And I was just like, oh, I'm so tired. And Sylvia was like, don't be so lazy. And I was like, I'm a lazy <laughs> sloth. And then it just kind of went from there. And oh. then, I don't know. It was just kind of a weird random thing. And then thing. Michael Hong made us decals, too, yeah, for our paddles. Yeah, so nice. Yeah, it's on my old wooden. I think it's the reason here, it came up was because I was like, oh, did you know that the word for sloth and the word for lazy are the same in French? <laughs> and then I was yeah. like, I'm a lazy sloth. I'm a paresseux, paresseux. <laughs> Maybe you tried to wow. do that, uh, Yeah, educate us in different yeah. languages. And then in Spanish, it's parasoso. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh yeah, I do remember you telling me that. Yeah, and I like repeated. And so it then, yeah, somehow forever. we just got on this sloth kick. So we're like <laughs> sloth sisters. Sloth now. Yeah, yeah. Hey. And then we both have Sarah got me the sloth patch to put on my PFD. Yes, yeah, I saw it today. Yeah. I, I oh, for the first you. time. No, I've seen it before, oh, but it's like, like oh yeah. For a while. Yeah. So. But my PFD broke, so oh. I don't have it anymore. Like. And I got a new paddle, so I don't. All my sloths are gone. Oh, you have no. You got a new sloth. sloth You're not a sloth anymore. No. You can't live up to the slothness of your. Yeah. You can't. I'm trying to form that sentence. I'm like, where am I going with this? (laughs) That sloth life. (laughs) Yeah. I was like, I have no idea what's going out of your mouth. Yeah, me too. I'm trying to fix it, but I can't. It's like it's so hard sometimes to like when you're like talking into this too, and then it's like you're talking and but you're thinking and you're like that's the fun part. Yeah, that's because you kind of just have to keep it going. Yeah, it's good. (laughs) Anyway, uh, tell us about how um, this whole thing with the team staying over at your hizzle is going to be like. (laughs) Wait, 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 what? What is this? So next weekend is the club crew race, and. it was supposed to be 16, but now I think 18 people are staying at my parents' house in Portland. And, and are your so parents going to be home for that they're weekend? They're going to be home. My sister will not be home. She'll okay. be at camp. So that's why we have three extra Wait, bedrooms. Wait, camp? Is she younger than you? Yeah, my I sister's 15. Oh, okay. So I have Brienne, which most people know. Brianna Tarf? <laughs> I love her name on Facebook. Like... Yes. Her actual name is Brienne, but on Facebook, she's Brienne of Tarth. Um, and she... So Game of she's... Thrones, Sylvia. You should watch it. I know. I'm... We were talking about Game of Thrones, by the way. We can talk about that after okay. this. But anyway. So she used to paddle in space, which I think is how most people know her. And mm-hmm. then she's three years younger than me. But we also have a half-sister who's 15. So she's still in high school. And still uh-huh. My parents' house. But she just was at a camp... She was at like a Johns Hopkins camp studying genetics back east. Yeah, for a I know, few I know weeks. Johns Hopkins. Yeah, What's and that? now yeah. she's going to Canoe Camp, which is an island canoe called camp? Canoe Island in the San Juan Islands Did of Washington canoe? State. Um, they do all <laughs> kinds of. Club? It's like an outdoor. They like camp and they do outdoor things, but it's all in French. Okay. So she does that for a couple weeks. So she's, every she's fluent Wait, in d- French. Yeah. Wow. Wait, okay. is it because you influenced her, or she wanted to do it herself? No, it's all really random. My. Um, when Sagan, my half sister, was um, two and a half, they sent her to a French school because it was the same price as sending her to daycare. And my stepmom <laughs> was always really interested in French. And about the same exact time, I started taking French in college. I started French in college oh. my freshman year. Um, so yeah, we both started learning French at the same time. And then I came back for winter break and I tried to speak French with her and she was way better than me because she was two and a half and she was like, blah, blah, blah. they learned yeah. fast. Yeah. They I tried to say hair. I was brushing my hair cause she came in my room and the word for hair is cheveux, but I said cheveux, which means horses. And I was like, I'm brushing my cheveux. And she's like, no, it's cheveux. No, not no, cheveux. I'm actually, I'm actually brushing and my horses. Like, okay. <laughs> Don't you see my horses? Yeah. Um, my, 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 horse my little hair. ponies. <laughs> Wait, so if it's horse hair, would that be cheveau? Cheveau de cheveau? Cheveau. Cheveau de cheveau? Yeah. Cheveau de cheveau. Right. Whoa, wow. is there another word that We're learning like French that? on this show now. <laughs> yeah, this is a That's... French episode, French edition. That's what I'm here for. We're going to slowly, by the end of the show, yeah. we're going to speak all French only. Fluent. We're going to be fluent. Fluent. <laughs> And I'm gonna repeat Cheveau de Cheveau like that's all. That's all, all right, I'm so say. back to your house. So everyone's staying oh, yeah. Here oh, yeah. So instead of a hotel. There's my bedroom, Brian's bedroom, and Sagan's bedroom that will all be free. And uh, my bedroom and Brian's bedrooms are just really, really huge. So. And for some reason in the past like six months, my dad and my stepmom just started like throwing beds in there. So now it's like set up like a hotel. So each room has two double beds. And mm. then there's also like mattresses that they just throw on the floor. On the floor. So whenever we have family. Is it too late for me to jump in people. on this? <laughs> I think just you, to hang out? Yeah, I think you have to be on club crew. Damn it. Yeah, oh. sorry. Ben. No. Because as it is, we can't fit everyone, which is kind of sad. But oh. so there's still like two hotel but rooms. But 18 okay. people? That's so Yeah, so we've got, lot. yeah, we've got people in all three bedrooms and then people in the living room. And we'll all have two bathrooms to share amongst us. <laughs> cool. <laughs> amongst us. I think that's, you just don't even need to. Just, get, just jump into the water. Yeah, we can jump in the pool. My yeah. parents have a pool and a hot tub. So yeah. Hose like, down. In. Yeah. That's yeah, that yeah, works we can too. Hold each other down, and it might be really hot. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. Problem solved. We just solved your problem for yeah, you for the weekend. Totally yeah. amazing. Have you had that many people stay over before? No, it's gonna be an adventure. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Oh my um, gosh! I every time I pictures. talk to my dad, he's like, "Yeah, no, it's cool. Whatever, fine. Whoever wants to stay." So I 
I'm like, do you understand the magnitude of 18 people (laughs) or two bathrooms? Well, he has his bathroom, so he's using that. That's, like, through his bedroom. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. But but people waking up at, like, 5 a.m. when they Yeah. There's many people in the living room. Yeah. There's people everywhere. (laughs) Sounds fun. It sounds like camp, honestly. I I think it's going to be fun. Yeah, I think it's going to be fun to have everyone together. Um, I don't know if everyone on the club crew knows that my dad has a very, very large dog and six chickens. (laughs) Cool. So I was like, just like wake up in the middle of the night with a dog licking there's, your face. Yeah, there's one bedroom that overlooks the chicken coop, so they might wake up early anyway. Oh. Does, does your dad have those chickens so that he can collect eggs? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. They eat the eggs. They give them away to people. Oh wait, you show me a picture of like different colored eggs. Yeah, they all have different eggs. So my stepmom likes to get when she no, get new no. chickens. She likes to pick chickens. Like what she colored knows, eggs? Like, this one has what? green eggs and this one has gold eggs. Yeah, and what? Green. Yeah. And they have pink, right? Yeah. How come they don't sell them in st- in stores? So it's like you don't have to dye them for Easter anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs to die? Yeah, Easter eggs? you get real like <laughs> natural green eggs. Because it's different breeds. Yeah, of different chicken, breeds right? are different. Yeah, we have one chicken that has. Um, I don't know. I say we. We never had chickens when I was there. They have one chicken that has um, mutton chops. It's really cool. What's a mutton chop? Mutton chops are like those side beard side, things, yeah. like here. So it's just got this. So it's like, like an Elvis, like... Elvis Presley yeah. chicken. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kind of. Whoa! With the, with the, it's, it's a rooster too, right? So it has the no, no, no. Hair. They're all hens. Oh, okay. You wish. Because they lay eggs. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. You can't have uh, roosters in a residential oh, in a residence okay. in Portland. You have to. But you, you can only have hens. Have hens. So. Yeah. Wow. Why? You can only have three, but waking people up. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My dad actually, they hatched some eggs once. Um, they like got chicken eggs or they let a rooster come over and fertilize some eggs or something. Somehow they had eggs that they actually hatched because then they thought, oh, we can like raise these. It'll be more friendly. Uh-huh. We're just getting them later. Kind of socialize them. Um, and they hatched like they hatched four and some of them were roosters. So one time I called him and I could just hear in the background this rooster crowing. It was like every 10 minutes. It was so loud. But they had to find crow? a farm to... Mm, no. <laughs> Can you bet? Nope. I don't know what it sounds like. It's like Rufio from Hook. Oh, yeah. Wait. Did... Have you seen Hook? No. The movie no. is like Peter Pan. Is it like Cuckoo? Or that's a... No. Okay, sorry. I just want to know. I but was anyway. on... I stayed at this um, <laughs> hotel place in Madagascar, and there it was like kind of hotel slash farm. There were all these chickens running around, and this guy told us that roosters crow at night to like... Um, They'll like steal each other's women, basically. Like, <laughs> they to. so each rooster has like his own harem, and the rooster will crow at night. And if the other rooster doesn't crow back, then the next day that rooster will just like walk over and round up all of that rooster's <laughs> hens and bring them back. And he's like, "Now these are mine." Wow, that's that how it works. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Wait, does that in work general? for does that work for humans too? No, just, no. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I think humans do that in more subtle ways. <laughs> so basically, he's like, "Okay, you can have all my women." No, it's like, oh, that rooster's, like, gone or dead or something, so I'm, like, gonna swoop in and take them all back. So this guy was telling me, like, if they, because it's, like, it's actually, they belong to different people, and so he was saying, like, you know, if my rooster ever dies, I need to get another one stout, or, like, the that guy's rooster's gonna come over and take all my chickens, and, like, I can do whatever I want to bring them back, but they're 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 gonna be, like, his then, they're, like, So they all, like, raise roosters to, like, steal each other's chickens. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. That makes more sense now. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty, like. I feel crazy. like I know a lot about chickens for some reason. Yeah, Can no, you this, tell see, another, this is Sarah's an educational full show. Of random facts. So, this is an educational show. And Ben good. and I love random facts. Yeah. So, in, like, tell us one more random fact, just for funsies. One more random fact about chickens. About chickens? Hmm. When I put me on the spot. No, she don't remember. Or you can know. recollect a like chicken experience. I had. so I was saying I was in Madagascar, and I was in Madagascar because I was staying on Reunion Island, which is in the Indian Ocean. I went there for two weeks once, and then for mm. two months once. Um, and I was <laughs> sorry, I'm just thinking like we've been talking about chicken. <laughs> well, yeah, okay, this is another chicken. Anyway, so <laughs> it's because I the guy that I was dating at the time um, was from there, and so we went and stayed with his family, and we went to see his grandma. And um, we just, she has chickens running all over. And so when we were leaving, his mom just like grabbed one of the chickens. Hey, you want one? And just like sat it on her lap and we drove home. And then they like put it in, they had a little cage in the yard, put it in the yard. We like fed it for a few days. And then we had chicken for dinner the next day. Cool. Cool. So that was like, chicken? Yeah. She just they like, yeah, them? they just killed it and we ate the whole thing. And 
I didn't watch them kill it. I kind of wish I had because... You want to know how to kill chickens. I don't know. I mean, when else are you going to be in a place where someone's killing a chicken in front of you and you can see it and then that's oh. like, that's what you're eating. Oh, I know how to kill chickens. Do you? Yeah. How did Chop you learn that? Chop off the head. Huh? No. Pluck the th- feathers. Chop off the head. Okay. But like you've done no, it? No, I'm asking. No. I think I've, seen, I've seen my mom do it. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, I don't want to describe it on the podcast. Wait, in the sunset huh? at your hizzle? Yeah. Wait, where? In huh? your backyard? I guess. What do you mean, guess? You said you watched it. Yeah, I, I don't want to give off okay. so much information. But, okay, just... Okay, since we were revealing so much. <laughs> um, my mom told me, because um, we they live in the suburbs of Chicago, so my mom was telling me how she really wanted to get a bunch of chickens and have, like the chicken cooking it Chinese style or whatever. <laughs> so she was saying she was going to go to a farm and like bring them all over. But then I, she didn't. So I was like, why not? She's like, well, I figured since we live like 10 feet away from the nearest neighbor, I wouldn't have like a good place to do it. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, you should have thought about that before you like, oh, she told her coworker that she was going to, but then she didn't. Cause I was, I was like, that's a good, op- that's a good idea. Are probably. you allowed to? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know the laws about it here, too, so yeah. I don't want to say much anymore. I don't know, yeah, I think, I don't know if the laws are in Portland, either, but I, I feel like you can only have them for eggs in Portland. I don't know if you can actually. Yeah, she was pretty prepared to be doing it, like, right outside our garage, like, in the neighbor's house is 10 feet away it, it's like a direct window and oh. it just had this image I think, of, like, I remember cold. reading an article, like, oh, yeah, it's cool, Chickens. as long as you do it, like, where no one can see it. Yeah, yeah, I just, I just couldn't see my neighbors because they're my neighbors aren't Chinese, so uh-huh. yeah, they, they I just probably can't would not see be them. Okay. Oh like, no, they're having a satanic ritual. Chickens. Yeah, I just... <laughs> sacrificing chickens to summon Satan. But to Chinese people, they're like, give me that chicken. Like Santeria, like, right? Where they kill chickens? I don't know what Santeria. It's like a. It's like from the Caribbean or something. It's a religion, and they, I have no like, idea. They, like, I was, kill I was... chickens and like slap people with them and stuff. <laughs> I, don't I don't know. I was just I making docu- it up. I saw a documentary um, about it in my Spanish class in high school, but I don't really remember. Or maybe it was in college. Oh. Okay. okay. I have a random chicken question. Okay. Sarah, okay. Sarah might notice. Thing, last thing about Sarah chickens. Sarah might notice because okay. she's knowledgeable how, about chickens. How do French people like to eat their chicken? Or what's a common way like, could you say American like fried chicken, or is that too like, general? We like everything fried. <laughs> I know it's true. Or like um, roasted chicken. I mean, coco vin is a thing, which is it's like, well, coke is rooster and vin is wine. You just like cook rooster in wine. Oh, okay. Like reduction or something. Maybe, yeah. Wine reduction. Okay. All right. <laughs> there you have it. Chicken plus and, oh, French facts. And the <laughs> other the other chicken plus French fact is that <laughs> Whoa. Okay. The rooster the rooster is the symbol of France, which is why I have a rooster. Oh on my yeah. Paddle. It's oh, on, the yeah, on the flag. Yeah, because I wanted to get something I did not know that. I wanted to get something <laughs> on my paddle for all the places that I've lived. So I've got an I had Oregon on my paddle and then I got this uh, I had Sharky make me a rooster that has like blue, white, and red, which is the French flag. Uh-huh. But yeah, you'll see when you're in France to see like roosters on things a lot because it's the national are they or as they call it the cock are they cook <laughs> cook <laughs> are they sacred creatures no no, no you know <laughs> like, just, i love it but i'm just talking about anyway. cooking them <laughs> no. you would think that if no they in france it's it nothing sacred them. anything that moves you will eat it <laughs> it's like Chinese snails people. rabbits you actually <laughs> in france thing. in france you have to sell rabbits at the supermarket or butcher or whatever with their heads on still so that you can show that they're not cats. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, no, that's horrible. So you go to the butcher and they're like, oh, here's the rabbit you want. Okay, cool. And then they chop the head off and then they give it to you. Wow. 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 You just know so much about the world. I know. Sarah's very worldly, I'd say. Well read. Travels well read. a lot. Right? And she reads where, where, a lot. Where, where have you traveled before, though? Let's, well, let's I lived in France for five and a half years, so I got to travel a lot there. I traveled all around Europe, mm-hmm. um, and I went to Africa a few times. I went to West Africa twice. The first time I went to a country called Benin, which in English is Benin, maybe? I, <laughs> I don't I'm know no, how you say it. No it's B-E-N-I-N. Idea. It's next to Ghana. Um, I went there with a 
class. I was taking a Franco-African relations class and I went there with my teacher for spring break. And then I went a couple years later, I went to Ghana to visit a friend who was studying abroad there. Since I was living in Paris, it wasn't Mm -hmm. as far. And then I went to Madagascar, which was really, really cool. I got to see lemurs and baobabs, which were the two things I really wanted to see there. So it was really cool. For two weeks. What's your favorite place that you visited? Um, I don't know. I really liked uh, visiting Istanbul. I only went for a weekend, but I wish I could have spent more time and seen more of Turkey. Well, from Paris to Istanbul, it's not too far. Okay. I have no idea where those are located. So (laughs) Istanbul. Yeah. Istanbul is, um, it actually is on the border between Europe and Asia. Part of it is in Europe and part of it is in Asia. Same with Turkey. There's Turkey has a tiny little bit in Europe and the rest of it is more like on the Asian side, but Istanbul is right where that, where those come together. So um, like the old town in Istanbul, most of the tourist places you're going to visit are in on the European side. Mm-hmm. But we, one day we were there and we we're like, okay, let's cross we, the yeah, line. Like we, to the I know at the time I had never been to Asia, so I was like, guys, we have to go. We have to Asia. go to Asia. Right yeah. So we like we found we tried to take a cab because there's a bridge, there's a real long bridge, and it says like Asian or something. Yeah. And um, we tried. There was so much traffic though, and we didn't speak Turkish, and the cab driver didn't speak English, but we finally like managed to like, communicate somehow. And I was like flipping through my guidebook that's in. French, but is like telling me like how to say something. Can, like, can, can you just point out a map? I want to go here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we knew where we wanted to go, but the traffic was just so bad. Oh, okay. And he was trying to tell us you guys should take a boat instead because there are all these like boats you can take. Across. Oh, okay. So we finally, I forget what the word was because he kept saying it and we finally figured out what it meant that it was like a boat. I don't know the word was now. Um, but so we finally, like, he took us then to the docks instead because we just like the bridge was, there was too much okay. traffic. And so then we took a boat across and we looked at the timetables to take the boat back and we had like half an hour. So we just like <laughs> ran oh to gosh. the nearest bar and we got a beer and we cheers and we're like, hey, we're in Asia. And then we went back, we went back because it was the last boat oh back God. to get back to Euro- the European side. So how, okay. how long total were you in Asia? Like half an hour. Half an hour. <laughs> so the first, the first time I went to Asia, I was there for half an hour. Yay! Wow, that's Good really job. cool. That's a really random story. You okay. can say like the first time I was in Asia, I was there for half an hour. Yeah, yep, I just had a beer and then went home. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Traveled to Asia for half an hour. That is so awesome. Oh, also mm-hmm. funny chicken story. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Many. This is a we're chicken. Like, we're like Wait, near. I want her to. T- I want her to tell this story. Okay, all right. And then we can ask the we can, random we'll fun question. Up, yeah. The weirdest thing that I ate in Istanbul was a dessert made out of chicken. How do you have oh, dessert yeah, exactly? Meat. They, they take they take chicken and they just like pull it apart until it becomes really like shredded. Shredded, and then they like add milk and mix it up, and then it's this kind of like gelatinous thing that you eat. And I remember reading in my guidebook that it's like, oh, this dessert made out of chicken. But they didn't explain that at all. And I was thinking, because it was a French guidebook, and French people do not mix sweet and savory. They will uh-huh. not. They'll be like, okay, now I'm done with the savory. Now I can move on to sweet. Uh-huh. Um, and so I was like, they would have explained it more if it was really chicken. I must have misread it. Or maybe like <laughs> poulet also means something else that I don't realize in French or something. Or it's like a typo. I don't know. So we ordered this dish and we're eating it. And we're like, no, this isn't chicken. It's like sweet and milky and like whatever we're eating. And then as we eat it, we're like, wait. No, this is chicken. <laughs> and then we were all like, mmm, like put down our fork. Like, I don't know. I don't think I can keep eating it. So could you, because, did you realize that though? Would you have realized it? If I don't you didn't think know? I would have realized it if I hadn't known. Because they like change the texture. Of yeah, it doesn't, it's, it yeah, like. yeah. The whole texture of the chicken is gone. That's crazy yeah, how they were weird. able to process so it. You, you so that it is you just order it for someone that knows that can't yeah. even read the menu. You should order this. It's really yeah, good. Yeah, exactly. And you don't tell them it's like, chicken. Boom, chicken. That's so weird. <laughs> Who would have known? All right. I guess we got to wrap it up with our okay, question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I think I already know what the answer should be. I don't say. know. But okay, okay. I don't know. She might choose would the you, one I suggested. Okay. Would you eat um, three durians or one can, can of, of silk. silkworm? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> we were trying to think of something as bad as so durian. I like durian. Oh, that, that ruins the question. Now. I like That's durian, I and like, I have okay. no interest in eating worms, so I'm gonna go with the three durian. Yeah, because like, wait, oh. I just, I just realized that uh, you, you like durian when you went to Hong Kong. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, I got another one. And How then we had that really good durian mochi in Vancouver. <laughs> oh, that was so good. Okay. That, okay. Spotted dick. That's the thing in England. But do you know what it is? I forgot. But would you have that? Is it or... chicken? I'm trying. 
Okay, spotted dick or... Wait, I think that's good. It's like bread pudding yeah. or something like that. Okay, fine. <laughs> that's not okay. a cheek. That's Marmite, not Marmite or silkworm? What's Marmite? Marmite. I'm not going to go for silkworms. <laughs> what is Marmite? It's like some fermented it's, spread yeah, that is popular in Austria. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Someone mentioned that. I've never oh, had it. Oh, I'm cheap. trying to think of something worse, but it's really you hard. You really want me to eat silkworms. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad. I was like, Pen, what's something that's comparable to I durian? Mean, I would do it. I, I want to try it? If you were like, here, we had, silkworm, we had, um, I would do it. Ray Ray on our team ate silkworms before. We had, really? Yeah, uh, one year we did like a mini This Amazing Race thing for our team. Mm. And one of the challenges was to eat, like, eat a, like, a, a spoonful of silkworms. Was it alive? formed in a silkworm? Yeah. It, was, huh? it wasn't alive. Okay. Like, no, it's dead. like it came in a can. I've eaten lots of larvae before. Oh, you can like go to, yeah, for the silkworms, you go to like an Asian market and you can okay. probably find it. I mean, I've had wasp larvae, so that's how the that that's how different. the label looked like from an think? Asian market. What do you think it would be that much different from wasp larvae? Because I've had that. Uh, maybe it's there was to that say. good? It was fried and over rice, so it tasted delicious. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> anything fried is good. Yeah, the same thing. We also ate this thing. It was like tons of baby fish. They were like baby little fish, and you just like yeah, fry them up and eat them over yeah. rice, and it's delicious. All right. <laughs> All right. So uh, I, I, the I, conclusion is she will never eat, eat silk- silkworm. No, I will. If you're like here, try this. I'll eat it. Okay. I, I like okay. trying. I'm gonna I like, find a can now. That's my favorite what thing about, about traveling. What about fried trying new food? Um, yeah. Fried I'll scorpions over greater than silkworm? <laughs> yes. Fried scorpion. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, because I feel like the texture of worms is maybe a little... Ooh. Like... I don't... Yeah. But I still, I'll still try I'll still things. Try like yeah. goopy? I like trying I don't, I, just, I don't think it'll be goopy. I'm just goopy. imagining, I don't know. like, still... Oh. We should ask Ray Ray. Yeah. Oh, Ray Ray, if <laughs> you <laughs> listen to this... Message response. Buy spot. us some silkworm in a can wherever you got it from. <laughs> All right. That's All right, the, I guess that's, that's a it. Shout out. Yeah, <laughs> I guess this is a, as if we're an episode. We're running a little bit longer, but it's cool. Thanks for having it me, was guys. Fun. No, yeah, it's fun. I, I learned so many about great stories about you. Yeah, especially and about chickens. chickens. More about chickens than her. Hey, you want to know <laughs> more about chickens? You can Go ask to Sarah. Sarah. Actually, chicken expert. You should ask my parents because they know way more than I do. Yeah, next weekend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll get everyone on the team to ask questions about chickens. Come up, come yeah, come, come up with questions about everyone chickens for next weekend. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And visit the different colored chicken eggs or go check yeah. them out yeah. if they have them. Yeah, they lay an egg a day. Oh, okay. oh cool. Well, there chicken. you go. Green egg. Never seen it. Well, Green eggs and ham. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, my God. I love that. I love that. All right. Okay. All right. We're done. All right. Bye. Do, do, bye. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to come up with a theme Okay. That's All right. Okay, bye. All right. <laughs>